what is up you guys welcome back to the channel working on this 2003 honda accord uh with the intermittent no start and i'm trying to show you i'm trying to record i'm trying to catch it when it's not starting but every time i crank it it starts uh so this is a no crank no start but every time i crank it it starts i caught it a couple times but right now that i'm trying to film it i just can't seem to get it so here let me crank it and see what it does cranks and starts so this was an intermittent no crank no start and every time that i'm cranking it now it seems to start but it did it to me earlier and what i found out was uh it is the starter on this car the starter on this 2300 accord 2.4 liter engine has to be changed and i want to take you guys through the starter replacement all right so on this 2300 accord 2.4 dual overhead can iv tech starter lives down there inside right behind the intake manifold this has to be removed boom out of the way so we can access the starter let me get a light so i can show you guys where it lives Let's see if you can see that in there uh, can you see the starter uh, i think that's right there that right there in the middle of the screen that's a starter positive post the one that comes from the battery uh, maybe like that ah there we go that's better okay so there it is boom right here i can see it right there it says honda on the starter it's the original starter this car has over 200,000 miles on it and it, it actually lasted quite a while but now it's time to change it uh so we're gonna get to work removing this intake manifold out of the way so we can access this chingadera right there all right so let's get to work all right so like i was taking off this air intake boot right there and it was all brittle it ripped apart so i'm actually gonna have to recommend this which is pretty common on these hondas that thing always rips it doesn't affect drivability but got to change it um also don't forget to disconnect your battery terminal if you're going to be removing starter so um let me go ahead and do this and uh we'll keep uh keep on going on right here with the starter removal got the intake manifold off um, down here on the block there's a little uh, a 12 millimeter nut that you got to take off you got to take off this clip right here which goes onto that bracket the 12 millimeter goes right there you got this 10 over here on the manifold and you got a little vacuum hose and then the manifold comes right off what I did here was I just separated the throttle body so I'm gonna get a new gasket for it and I'm going to clean it up real well before I put everything back. Um, now we can access the starter, which is right here. So I'm going to remove the starter, put the new one on, put everything back. And in the meantime, I'll be waiting for my new throttle body gasket. And we can finish this one up. It's not that hard. It just looks like a lot of work. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Backing hose, 10 mil, 12 mil. Little clip right here. Comes right off after you take off the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 mils on the uh, intake manifold so uh yeah let's get back to work that was my dad yeah oh you mean yeah I was 14. Almost got stuck right here between the oil pressure, oil sending unit, and 
this bolt. Uh, go home. There you go. Okay, take this 14 out. See, there's a weird, weird bolt. Now the starter comes off. All right, so this is a 200,000 mile starter. Let me get the new one and throw it on there. Oh, new starter coming in. Stop before you return this part. We have factory trained technicians. All right, I'm about to throw this back in. I don't know about you guys, but I like to reuse. I like to reuse the old nut as opposed to this shit. I just think the the newer original nut is the old original nut is better than all this crap they give you. So I'm gonna reuse this one on the new starter. Wait, wait! I almost dropped my phone. All right, let me throw this back in there. All right, got the new starter in there. Got that uh, positive terminal connected. Got the one from the switch connected. Got that clip back in there. So everything here is back into place. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this intake gasket with a new one. Every time you remove the intake, you wanna go ahead and change that gasket out because it's gonna get flattened out. And uh, you just don't wanna take any chances with like vacuum leaks or anything like that. So um, this is in backwards. Flip it over. Okay, make sure all your holes line up and they do once that's there We can go ahead and drop the intake back in just don't forget to plug in my vacuum line this little bracket here and uh, This little clip right here so that everything's routed back into place and we don't have any electrical problems later on down the line so um, Yeah, intake's going back in right now. So let me bring you out of here get you a wider view and then we're gonna keep working here Intake is going back in now. I'm gonna connect my 10 mil vacuum line. Okay, so this is what it's looking like down in there. Got the 10 mil, got the vacuum line. I gotta connect back this little harness. And uh, you can see the bracket. It's routed between that harness and the other one. Now we can put everything back together. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is just start all these nuts and bolts by hand. And then I'll go ahead and hit them with the gun. Okay, just a couple of threads so that none of this strips once I hit it with my ratchet or my gun. Um, and don't confuse these um, nuts and bolts with the uh, four nuts and bolts from the throttle body because they do kind of look the same. The ones on the throttle body are a little longer. The ones on the intake are a little shorter, but there's three. So you can't, you can't mix those up. All right, so I'm waiting for a new throttle body gasket right now to show up before I put that back together. I gotta connect this little bolt. This is the one that goes down on the bracket. Let's see if I can see you right here. Down on the bracket, where is it? right there in the middle of your screen that's where this one goes and I'm just gonna start it by hand also before I gun everything down gotta move the hose out of the way a little bit can you see this I'm just moving this hose out of the way so I can stick my hand in there and start this nut by hand it's easier said than done ah here we go there you go I got around a couple threads so now when I hit it with my ratchet, it won't strip or anything like that. All right, good. Just making sure all my harnesses are routed properly. There's a little clip here. I think you'll hear it right now. It's there, it's on there. Okay, now I can bolt the manifold completely because I got the bracket down there and I got these five nuts and bolts here. Get that 12 down there. All right, so here's the old gasket. You can see why I changed it. This thing is just falling apart. Uh, I probably could have gotten away with it, but I don't want to take a chance. So I, or I ordered a new gasket. Uh, this is the part number. If you guys want to see it, it's a 61349. And this is a 2003 Honda Accord. 
with a 2.4 liter engine right there. All right, so I'm just gonna button this up and we're gonna see if it cranks or not. If we got a good starter, you guys can see the starter down there under the intake. So let me just finish buttoning it up right here. And then um, also I got the new intake boot right here. Um, I'm gonna put that on there and then if it cranks and starts, then we're good with this one. We'll ship it on its way and move on to the next one. So this is how we're looking after we've got everything done. Fresh intake boot, manifold, new starter, under the manifold. Everything's back in place. Now all I gotta do is start it up and make sure that it cranks like it needs to. And if it does, then this one's a fix. All right, so let me set you guys down. I'll go back inside, I'll crank it. And if it starts, then we're good to go. We'll just test drive it. Actually, we don't even need a test drive it. It's just a starter. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in inside and crank it. There it is, 2003 Honda Accord starter replacement. I even think the new starter sounds a little better. I don't know if you guys heard the one before, but 200,000 miles on that starter. This one does sound better, so I think I'm gonna end it right here, homies. So, try it one last time. There it is. I know I didn't show you guys that it wasn't cranking before, but trust me, this starter was intermittently failing, so. 2003 Honda Accord done. All right, that's it, homies. 2003 Honda Accord starter replacement on a 2.4 liter engine. I know there's already probably a bunch of videos out there on how to replace this starter, but I'd do it better. <laughs> I'm gonna end it right here. If you guys wanna see more automotive videos, hit that subscribe button, hit on this little logo that's about to pop up. It says Hector, click on that, hit subscribe, hit that little bell. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down in the comment section below and that's it homies i gotta go gotta go home i'll see you on the next one peace out